that game is like everybody's talking about it on my timeline they're like all super hype about it everybody's like the horse game is sick i'm like all right like <laughs> i know nothing about it right so i'm super interested in trying it i know the netcode's great the developers reached out to me and they're like yo thanks for chatting about our game you're super kind they gave me some sick horse armor dlc which i'm hype about because i i don't know if you guys know this I bought the original Horse Armor DLC back in 2007 or whatever when it dropped, you know? Yeah, they sent me some skins, dude. I got Horse Armor. All right, like, where's this game? T, 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 them's fighting herds, play. This is a strong, strong track so far. Okay, let's start at the beginning. I already know these things, but I was like looking at the tutorials. I can pick a character for this? Okay. Velvet looks cool. Arizona looks like she whooped my ass. Uh, <laughs> Paprika, I see, and I see that flightless Pegasus has dropped the base. Palm. All right, well, I'm not a palm player, I don't think, am I? This horse is Magneto. This is a dragon. Select the palette. There's quite a, quite a few. I'll just play this one. All right, we got a teacher horse. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Yeah, clever girl with the raptor strikes. Touch the targets I've set up for you. I like this. These are cool. Looks like you already know how to jump. Carry on then. This is tight. I like this. Light, medium, and heavy. I wonder what my attack buttons are. Oh, uh, okay. This is light, I'm assuming. Medium, heavy. Uh. Whoa. I probably need to change those. Oh, it's a four button fighter? Medium, heavy. I like that it rotates. That is cool. Four buttons, nice. I just played the same layout that I played in, like, Uni and stuff, so that's good. Will you let her get away with it? Bitch ass. Uh, 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 uh. Oh shit, I was already moving for a second there. For a second I was already moving. All right, that'll teach her. Yeah, motherfucker. It's teaching me around how to win around. This game is tight. Standard rule is best two out of three. This is this tutorial is cool so far. I like the targets a lot, and I like the way it just taught me how round count works. Okay, that's cool. Walk forward. This is a, this is solid. Walk forward. It's teaching me like, hey, this is always the way the directions work, regardless of whether where you are, right? Don't get hit. All right, I'm, I'm walking back. This bitch ass cow thinks it can take me. Oh. That's fuck. You, you can't just hit me with a low out of nowhere. Like, that's just cheating. Hit me with the sweep when I wasn't looking. I got schmicks. What the fuck? Cool. Yeah, this is, this is cool so far. Move forward and then block when the time is right. Oh my god. All right. I was like, what kind of magic am I even going to see? Bam. Shooting magic at me? Not on my fucking watch. I'm a ninth level wizard. Cool. It's teaching me that I can do a combo. ABC. It's teaching you how to like buffer, right? It's saying like, hey, right before your light button ends, you can hit the medium button, just in case you didn't know. Noise, noise, noise. The characters are all short. Everybody has despicable overheads. I see. Ah, it's teaching me uh, launcher, A, B, C. Cool. So it's got like a, uh, it's got like a magic button. So for this character, when I hit it, they fly. Specials, yeah. 
Oh, it's teaching me actual special moves. I see. Volcano specials. This is a pretty neat tutorial so far. As neat as Musty Prongs dropping the sub. Was good. Yeah. I don't know what that moves for. Okay. Volcanic bash. Whatcha? What a forward dash, honestly. Oh, it's like an air throw. Uh, okay. Cool. Anti air? Nice. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a cool demo, too, showing you how the moves work. It's even going to show me a combo. That's pretty tight. Magic. Sure. It's above the super meter. Sure. So it's a little red uh, Crash Team Racing Turbo Bar. So she's got a fly. Oh, so the fly is a I see. So it's it's uh, it tied to that meter on the bottom. Oh, so it just goes in a butt while it's a dive kick. Up. That's pretty cool. Jesus. These are cool. This is an interesting character. It's interesting as they can Chris. What's good? Next section. Yeah, I gotta fill up my super meter. It's at the bottom of the screen. Quarter circle forward, two attacks. I'm pretty straight up. It's an install type. Oh, it's like a follow up after the main super. I see. This is when she's flying, right? And she's got the fire. I've seen this before. So you have to hit the level one to go into this, I see. <laughs> it's dragon install. It's dragon install, but good. Wow, that is. Incredibly fat. You can combo off that? Bruh. Dude, this is so sick. This tutorial says, hey, what up? What we just showed you is the basics. Uh, so if you'd like to exit the tutorial, this is a good stopping point. You know, you can move on. Otherwise, we'll teach you how all the characters work. You can stop now if you don't want to do any more of this, right? So it teaches you combos, special moves, magic system, super attack, dashes, runs, and jumps, throws and command normals, chaining combos, fancy blocking. Blocks on hit stun, perfect blocks and cross canter. You got to be kidding me. Ground and air attacking bounces. So I probably don't care that much about... So I did the combos with her, right? And I didn't do the special moves. I probably don't need to do that. The magic system, I probably don't need to do either because it's just like another meter. But what I should look at is maybe dashes, dashes, runs, and jumps. I don't know if that's any different, but I should probably do that. these ones. Uh, should I try another character maybe? This looks like a zoner. This is a rushdown character. Not sure. This this definitely like get in your face and fuck you up character. This looks like a weirdo character. Those little legs look dangerous. I'll try Oleander, I guess. Double tap forward. Double tap back. Okay. I'm out. I can't poison my brain with this. Good fighting games will poison any brain. It'll change you forever. 22 seconds to make your way through the stage and hit all the targets. Wait, what? Oh, I actually have to hit it? Oh, shit. Uh, fuck. What? Break the tar- What the? Ah. No! Yeah. Perfect time. Might have actually been Tassa. Some characters can super jump, but I can double jump. Nice. Test time. Try to break the red target without touching any obstacles. All right. This is cool, man. I like this tutorial. All right, what up? You can't stop me that easy. What's well, good? You can't stop me that. All right. Grab was which is B and C. 
Yo, mine. Eh, eh. Her, her dash is so slow, by the way. Yeah, this is definitely like a, not a get in there and do a lot of stuff character. Look at this tiny ass dash. And the throws put you full screen. If you want to know if a character keeps you away or not, see how far the throw takes you from them, right? That's just a good, a good way to think about it. The only reason they throw you full screen if they're a rushdown character is if they hate you. Wow, the crouching light is flipping pages in the book. That's cool. Uh, all right, anti air is forward plus P. Ah, that makes sense. I was doing that earlier, so that that kind of makes sense why that was coming out. All right, six P, forward plus C. Oh, it's teaching command normals. Let's see. Smite. Oh, it's in the air. Whoa, that looks fucking impossible to anti-air tie. Die. Die. So the grimoire is like a book that summons a claw. So this is like this this character is uh like all mid-range stuff. She's got a fireball too, right? Oh my god, this is sick. You know, I was just talking about this when I was learning combos in school girls. And I was saying, when you're playing a fighting game, right? If you're trying to do a combo and whatever you do doesn't hit them, right? So they, they're able to block it or whatever, then it's because you did the move too late. But if you're doing a combo and the move just never comes out, so let's say you try to do light punch, medium punch, and your medium punch never comes out, you're doing it too early. This is really good that it's teaching that idea to people. Anyway, what does it want me to do? Stand A, B, C. Oh, it wants me to do core circle forward. I thought it was long. That was good advice. Cool. This is really cool. This tutorial is great. So it wants me to do a super. It's interesting because this tutorial is like super in depth. Actually, it, te it teaches you a lot of the really strong basics of fighting games. These kind of rules are, are pretty applicable to most fighting games, especially 2D games. Or uh, yeah, especially 2D games. Yeah. So it's teaching you to low block. All right. I'm gonna, I got a fuzzy Abare overhead. Nailed it. I'll just squat like a rock and becoming a living tank. That's pretty good. This character looks like a problem. I don't ever want to lose to this character, and I can already tell I'm gonna. Mm hmm. Teaching new players to like. You know, just block crouching by default, and then if you see someone jump, stand block is good advice. Damn, that is fast, by the way. That seems pretty. It seems pretty fast. Block all the attacks. Oh, that's pretty fast, bro. Maybe I'm just not used to the animation of it yet. Ah, uh, maybe that's not so bad. Your reactions are not good. It's a lot of times you kind of just have to expect it. Teaching you how to tech. Nice. Teching's great. Oh. Did I tech too late, I wonder? How late can you tech here? Oh, it's it's actually. Let me try to do it late. Oh, I didn't get thrown. Oh, it was an overhead shit. Oh shit, it was a low? Damn, this, this I'm getting mixed. Ground throws don't work on aerial opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like most games, right? This is pretty normal to what most fighting games are like. Oh, what? I didn't even realize we were starting. What the? Okay. Oh, I was too late. It forces me to jump? What the fuck? I didn't jump. I This is fucked up. I'm just down backing, bro. Oh, fuck. I was too late. Shit's fucked up, bitch. Get off me. Ugh. 
It's to teach the air throw tech. Yeah, but it forced me to jump. I don't get to choose to jump, so suddenly I was just in the air. I was like, what? Oh, this character is the, the grappler. Charge character with the command throw. All right. This is so cool. This is such a this is so good such good advice. It says, look. You understand everything yet? No, because it's complicated. You're not gonna get everything right away. Go beat up your friends and have some fun. So I'm on the fancy blocking, which I just did this, right? So I'm on block stun and hit stun, which I already know about. So maybe it's worth just going to this. All right, I'll do all of them. It shouldn't take too long. Let's try another character. Arizona. Hit stun, yeah, yeah. Standing A has less hit stun than standing C. Is this Arizona's theme? This shit is tired. Teaching me block stun. Not every fighting game term is obscure. That's pretty good. As good as this big sub from switching moods. God damn. Ah, I see. It's cool. It's teaching me blocks and punish and stuff. Yeah, it's teaching me that some of my moves are unsafe. Any two buttons while you're in blocks, done. Nope. Oh. Half of a super? You just push forward? Oh. Uh, oh, it's four plus two attacks. I see. Ah, oh, it's too early. Shit. It, wait, so do you have to push block first, or you just you do it like like a push block? Oh, you just do it like a push block. It's just an alpha counter, out of block stun. Oh, uh, it's uh, also IB, right? Yeah. Oh, too early. Reversal is like, it's just like doing a dead angle or an alpha counter or whatever. Yeah, same idea. Yeah, it's like an IP or just defend. Look at this moonwalk. Damn, the evil glare. That's a pretty powerful defending uh, stance. Oh, it's teaching me proximity guard. Oh, it wants me to block. I see. Wait, why are we in slow motion? Okay. Hmm, I think I was too too far. Yeah. Anyway, block the hell out of that cow. Yeah, the blue state when you hit the ground is when you can tack. Okay. Just hold down any button. Cool, cool, cool. Can I just hold a button during the entire combo? Cool. So it's just like teching in like uni or something. Forward and back tech. Oh, it just wants me to neutral tech. Okay. Sure. I did forward and backwards tech before I did the one they wanted me to. That's my bad. Yeah. Next section. We know how to forward and back tech. When you don't air attack, you just fall to the dirt. Cool. Ah, oh, there's forward and back tech in the air too. So there's neutral forward and back tech, huh? I can tell she's a zoner because they all look smug as hell. You smug ass zoners. That's how zoner players look. Wall bounce. So when there's a red flash, it's a bounce, right? I saw a wall bounce and a ground bounce. Damn, that shit is miss finer wall splat. Ground bounce, yeah. I'm, let me guess. One ground bounce a combo to you. Yeah. Okay, one ground bounce, one wall bounce or wall stick. So we've learned most of the system stuff. 
tumble. Oh, tumble state move? Tumble as well, interesting. If you don't follow quickly, then they, uh, yeah, it's like counter hit Fafner for sure. Stagger property too. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's reteaching you the concepts, which is cool. I think it's saying like, Hey, look, we just threw a lot of shit at you. So let me, let me just bring it back around. Hard knockdowns. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> Sweet. It, it flashes red if it's a hard knockdown too, huh? So red, red in this game means some kind of like combo mechanic, whether it's stagger, wall bounce, ground bounce, or tumble, I guess. Oh, dizzy. Oh, juggle decay. Oh shit. On dizzy, yeah. I see. Okay. Oh, it's teaching you chip, chip damage. Yeah. Cool. Chip damage. Next section. This tutorial is tight, dude. Highly punchable face. That's what they describe Velvet as, you know? It's teaching you about combo scaling, too. This, this tutorial is cool. Tell them they're nerds until you figure out how to do it. Then it's cool. This is a great tutorial. I think it does a really good job of like breaking down very basic stuff and then saying like, hey, look, if you don't get any of this, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, next. Counter hits? Oh, okay. Do I have Soul's Bandana though? That's a good question. Armor moves, huh? Magic Headbutt has armor? That seems degenerate as fuck. Are you serious? This character. <laughs> Am I just gonna get Headbutt to death? Frame data? Not quite exactly what I expected in the tutorial. Open your eyes. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Damage is caused by the red hitboxes. It's teaching you even how to look at this. These are really cool. These these are generally always the same color, usually green, red, or yellow. Green and red usually stay the same. It's usually yellow is the other thing they have. Oh, yellow is in hit stun? Okay. White is uh, in vulnerability, sure. Cool. Is this the last thing in the tutorial? Hitboxes are, uh, are great. Having hitboxes in training mode is very helpful. Oh, he's, they're showing how many frames are in each second. That's tight. This is a really interesting thing to do. As cool as Jaquez B dropping the big sub was good. This slowdown to show you the frame data. Yeah, it shows you as soon as the hitboxes come out. There it is. Frame one of it. Active frames of an attack. There's the herb box. Attach the limb. Showing you recovery frames.
That is really cool. Yeah, they had to script and write all of this and do this tutorial for the game. It's great. Yeah, it's teaching you that you're zero after this. That's why you have to cancel into stuff. 11 frames of startup. Showing that you're in a blocking state. You're recovering from block stun. And it's going to show you that you recover, I guess, before. Yeah, four frames where you can attack. Cool. We have four frames of freedom. Yeah, it teaches you frame advantage and then also neutral, if you're neutral or disadvantage. Ah, reversal super. Wait, this is a four frame super? That's pretty good. Oh, it's a three frame super? What the fuck? Yeah, this is really cool to teach people frame data. It's Bionic Farm, Jesus. Cool. Oh, we don't need to know about negative edge. We know about negative edge. I think we're pretty good here. I just wanted to look through some of the other options that it's gonna teach me. Super, super, super secret combo enhancers. What makes characters tick? Chip damage, scaling, and countering. We already went through that, right? I guess actually we just did the system stuff. Mostly, I'm ready to do training mode stuff.